on the way to many parts of Europe, not least of all here in the British Isles. And this is the way things were yesterday. Granada, 27 degrees. Bilbao, 24 degrees. That's almost like early summer. And that temperature in Bilbao actually didn't fall very far during the night either. So it's hardly surprising now that we have the winds in the south that we've turned very much milder. And earlier on today already those temperatures were climbing into double figures. We will keep those southerly winds with us for a while so it stays mild or even very mild in many parts of the country. Just a hint perhaps of uh, a touch of west in those winds come the weekend and the first part of next week so maybe just cooling off a touch and it may well be that we get a little bit of frost in northern areas. Now this is a weather system that brought all the change. It's marching on into Europe so although it's getting milder in most places it's not really settled. There's a lot of cloud there and there will be some cloud and outbreaks of rain across many parts of Europe in the next few days as this particular weather system and other weather systems move in from the west. Giant area of low pressure hanging close to the northwest of Britain, smaller areas of low pressure whipping across the British Isles and much of Europe in the next few days. So there will be rain from time to time and it's often going to be quite windy as well. It was wet during the night in most places. This band of rain worked its way across the country. Clearer weather followed along behind, although in that clearer weather you can pick out some bands of cloud and those bands of cloud are bringing along some showers. But I think for the southeastern part of the country, it should stay dry and bright. There is a fair amount of cloud around, but a little bit of sunshine here and there. But in the more northern and western areas, you will have those showers, one or two of them perhaps rather heavy, and Shetland still quite uh, cold and damp. Temperatures, though, well up 14 or 15 degrees. Could make it the warmest day since the end of November in some parts of the country. Now we're going to keep those showers running into these western areas right the way through this evening and during the night, but central and eastern parts should be dry and if the cloud breaks just sufficient in some sheltered spots of say northeast England or more particularly eastern Scotland, we could just about get a touch of frost, but basically it is going to be a fairly mild night. As for tomorrow, we start off dry and bright in most parts. We will have showers in the west and showers are going to develop in central and eastern areas of England during the course of the day, one or two of them fairly heavy. And we maintain the unsettled theme into Friday, a scattering of showers around to begin with, in fact, for a good part of the day. A chance of some more general rain coming in from the west later on. A wet day in the north on Saturday, a showery day in the south, and very little changing into Sunday. That's all for now.